Today, we're going to be reviewing how to set up a quick pick in Dentrix Ascend. My name is Kirsten. I've been a registered dental hygienist, and I'm going to show you today how to set up a quick pick inside Dentrix Ascend into your clinical note templates. And today, the topic's going to be about um, periodontal classification. So let's begin. When you go into um, the settings, you go into the patient care. You go into clinical note template. As you go into the clinical note template, you want to scroll down into the hygiene or periodontics. In this case, I'm going to place it into hygiene. We're going to go into the adult dental hygiene visit right over here in the clinical note template. And in the first video to the left, toolbar, and in the first video, um, in this instance, we're gonna choose adult dental hygiene visit. And in this first video, we had already discussed how we um, set up the clinical note setup. And to manage setup, go to manage quick picks, click on quick picks. And then again, you're going to get a quick picks, manage quick picks list. So you want to scroll down and look for periodontal classification. Now this is based on the AAP guidelines. I'm going to put that into the YouTube notes for you. So you have that as reference to any dentist or office that you work in. So when we scroll down here, we want to click on periodontal classification. Okay, here it gives you the whole kit and caboodle. I'm going to actually create a new, right? This gives you every single with the classifications and staging. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do create new. I'm going to create a quick pick name. I'm going to say periodontal classifications. And I kind of blend it a little bit with the classifications and grading. And it's really just a time saver. But so long as you have class one, class two, class three, or class four in your note, you know exactly how to proceed with treatment planning. So again, you have to have a quick pick question to prompt the, the um, check boxes. So what you want to do is go, um, what is the client's periodontal class classification? It's exactly how it is in the clinical template notes or patients. I say clients. Next, have checkbox. Next, now you get an ultimate. So it goes first, give it a name, which we did. Then we select the type, check boxes or note. Then we specify the options. So the options here is the first one is going to be class, um, perio classification one. And that is gingival disease, um, plaque induced. And then I usually get the prompt of one to two millimeters for those who might not be familiar with the periodontal classifications. The second one will be um, periodontal class two. And this is um, chronic periodontal periodontitis, localized, slight. This is your three to four millimeters. Okay. Now this one is periodontal class three, aggressive, area localized, mod to severe with greater than five, five or greater than millimeters. Then you add a fifth one, this one's periodontal glass four, and this is aggressive periodontal 
with tooth loss. And this is greater than five millimeters. So it's usually in that classification four, there's usually a tooth loss one or two, okay? So then I'm gonna click done and that saves this new periodontal classification. So if you click here, go into classification, now we can insert this into periodontal classification. So if we scroll up here, we can manage quick picks, go over into the manage quick picks area, scroll down, to periodontal classification. Which is right here. And then insert and close. As you notice here, there's all sorts of different um, quick picks here. So we're gonna go into that. I'm gonna show you multiple times how to use and manage a quick pick. Some of them are preset. I usually keep it pretty simple with this, one, two, three, or four with a simple little, you could always change this up if you want to edit it, just go down to edit, but insert and close, okay? So now you have the periodontal classification. Now, this is a note here already preset in your clinical note setup for your ADHD, and the polished hand scaled followed with ultrasonic. I always put hand scaled in there um, and polish first because I want a clean area of biofilm. Everybody's a little bit different. So again, you can go into the clinical note template setup, right, type this to your needs. The benefits of inserting clinical um, note templates or manage quick picks is that these manage quick picks can be used in any note, clinical note template that you set up. So it saves you a lot of time. And it also keeps it consistent with the assessment of of what the periodontal classification, so you know much, how much time to schedule. If you're doing a 4341, which is a quadrant therapy, or a 4342, which is a localized scaling and root playing therapy. So I'm going to do another quick pick. So we're going to go into plaque. Again, we're going to go into manage um, quick picks. We're going to scroll down, manage quick picks, and we're going to go into plaque. So there was a quick pick for plaque. Okay, so here is perio plaque. Um, you can skip it, so you or you can do none, light, moderate, and heavy. But I decided to create a plaque new quick pick. I think I already did it, unless I did not save it. Nope, I did not save it. So let's do that. This happens. Don't forget to insert and close. <laughs> I've done that a couple of times. So we want to create a new. We want to enter black. Okay. Um, and we want to enter um, what was the level of black in the client's patient's mouth. Okay, then go next. Okay, I do check boxes again. You enter none. You can add another response, light with cervical, with cervical localized. Add another light with cervical. and interprox, add another, moderate with localized interprox, moderate with cervical and interprox. So the reason why I use cervical is right along the gum line. We say it's a, a toothbrushing, um, or maybe um, it's around a crown. They need a rubber tip stimulator or a soft pick. And interprox means probably a soft pick or floss. And then, of course, heavy is usually your once a day toothbrushers. 
Okay. So you get a, a couple of different, um, and then there's also, so I'm going to say done. That's going to put that in there. And what was the level? So insert and close. So now we have plaque done. Okay. And at the end, I'm going to show you all of this. So this is calculus. So calculus, as you know, is different than the plaque. Um, so we're going to go again. So I'm going to do a couple of these. Manage quick picks. Okay, go in here. Go into calculus. Doesn't look like they have one here. Maybe they call it tartar. I don't know, but I'm going to check both. Nope, they don't. So I'm going to create a new and I'm going to put calculus. And what is the level of calculus? Next, do checkbox again. Next, none. Uh, light, lower, lingual, anteriors. Light. Okay, so you can you can edit these um, clinical quick picks any way you you want to. As you know, I'm kind of um, upper right, upper left, buckle, um, and lower anteriors. You know, sometimes we get that in the parotid glands. So I'm just kind of kind of doing more detail there. But the check boxes you can do multiple if you want, right? So you want to say insert and close, and there your calculus comes. Okay. Now we're gonna do bleeding. So these are quick check boxes. So it frees you up some time, okay? Bleeding, we're gonna go um, manage quick fix. We're gonna go into I think it's gonna come down here. Perio bleeding, I think I saw. There we go. Perio bleeding has skipped none, moderate, right? I'm gonna create a new for gingival bleeding. Um, okay, check boxes again. It's gonna say none, yay, they're healthy. Light, moderate, heavy. Okay, now I can go into more detail here, but with bleeding, if it's light, moderate or heavy, you kind of give a description. You can always add notes in there if you're doing that. Okay, done. Okay, insert and close. Okay, and the staining, um, there was one in here. So we're gonna go into manage quick pick. Um, I think I saw one up here, there we go. Create new. There's some that are already in here.
Okay. Great. Then we have the other with the stain the patient has. So insert and close. So last but not least, we're going to talk about recommended oral hygiene. Now, there's some oral hygiene instructions that you can actually uh, type in here. And so we can go manage quick picks. Down here, there's um, oral hygiene. Let's see. Habits. Thought I saw it in here, but maybe it's only in the perio. Hold on one second, scroll down here. So let's create a new one. A uh, quick pick name, oral hygiene, or I should say current oral hygiene routine. Okay. Okay, check boxes. Next. Uh, manual toothbrush two times per day. Electric toothbrush. Two times per day. I usually put oral B or Sonicare. Um, flossing one time per day, two times per day. Flossing one time per day. Soft picking one time per day. Water pick one time. Actually, I'm going to put rubber tip stimulator. I still believe in these. These are great around crown margins. Hopefully, they're not underneath the gum line. Um, and then water pick one time per day. Okay. So these are just kind of you know, a simple list that you could do. And you can add another response if they're using a medicament, MI paste, one to two times per day um, as a prevention, okay? And that's basically it. Um, and then, oh, and sometimes if someone's using like an over-the-counter mouth rinse, you just have to write it in. Um, okay, now... The interesting thing about quick picks like this, you can create multiple quick picks where you can do multiple quick picks in it. So for example, um, I'm gonna say done. So now these are the options, but um, insert. So you have to always press insert and close. So that gets inserted in there, okay? Now you have current oral hygiene habits, but here there's also a current oral hygiene habit. So this is kind of recommended. So I'm going to click that here. So now we're going to go into manage quick picks and go into recommended oral hygiene habits. Not in there. So I'm going to create new. Okay.
Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, so basically what I, I typed in there is electric toothbrush two to three times a day with the two minute cycle. Um, the manual toothbrush two to three times a day. I'm gonna say for three minutes. That's the latest. Um, floss one time a day, floss and soft pick one time a day, rubber tip stimulator one time a day around crown margins and water pick one to two times a day. So then you wanna click done and you can insert and close and that will go into your recommended oral hygiene routine. So make sure that your, your um, cursor here is ready to go. So you wanna say manage quick picks, you wanna go in, or you can go cancel, go recommended with insert. Okay, and there you have it. Okay, so here with the dentist exam too, you work with the dentist how they want that, but the classifications are one, two, and three, carries risk assessment, low, moderate, or high. Then you can also add signatures. So we wanna do manage quick pick and we wanna create new into um, RDH name and we can do, um, Who is the RDH professional providing care? And then you can do check boxes. You can do enter a response, Debbie, um, Jamie, temp for ARI RDH. And you, you know, as if you're a temporary RDH, you have to put your license in there too. So done. Okay. Um, let's say I want to edit this because we want to have their licensors here, licensing here. So next, checkbox. So we go in and we edit. So that way we know it's a dental hygienist. Okay. Okay. And insert and close. You could do the same thing for the RDHs and then the next appointment, next recare appointment, next, um, I should say, uh, DDS appointment. Um, manage quick picks, create new, um, restorative RDH. It's going to say, what is the, Okay. So I did tooth number. If there's a tooth that needs to be restored, Invisalign, Occlusal Guard, or exam in FMX. Okay. And then for the next dental hygiene recare, we could do the same. So we want to go into manage quick picks, create new, and just say next recare appointment with RDH. What is the current RDH recare? Uh, what is the current ADH fee or periodontal maintenance visit recare sequence? Next, check boxes, enter um, uh, six months or 1110, add another four months. Um, one 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 zero or forty nine ten, and I put these in here mainly so it prompts the front office. And three months is um, is the forty nine ten. Okay, so that's kind of how we do it. Or you can add another response, which is upper right, lower right scaling and root planing, which is your forty three forty one. Um, upper left, lower left 
scaling, root planing, which is your 4342, or you can add localized scaling, root planing, which is your um, 4342, and then uh, scaling, root planing for quads with medicaments. and then add another uh, laser. Okay, so these are some of your options. Okay, so I'm gonna click done. And now you have easy, kind of an easy, where you can do multiple um, insert and close. Now I'll show you how this all works now. So we did enter all photos down here in parallel classification. If you don't insert it, you have to have the cursor. If you don't insert it into the note, it actually goes down all the way to here, okay? So notice how long that took us, right? We did quick picks for quite a while here, but once you get it set up, these quick picks, the benefits of that, you can reuse these chief complaints and recare radiographs and intraoral photos. All of these can be reused in any note sequence that the hygienist has. So now we'll save. Okay, and this is your demonstration video. I know it's a little bit longer for periodontal classification, managing your quick picks that we did your periodontal classification, plaque index, calculus, bleeding, and stain, and then um, the current oral hygiene habits that the client has and the recommended daily routine that you can go in and edit, the clinical dental exam, occlusion classifications, and caries risk assessment, which you as a hygienist will know. And that is basically it. So thank you for joining us here in learning how to write a clinical note template setup with QuickPix. Have a great day.